Hey guys, what's up? It's Miles here, and welcome back to another video. So, I used to upload videos a lot back in the day on how you can grow your channel, but I haven't done them like that in a while because I thought they were getting really repetitive. A lot of you guys actually found me from those kind of videos too, which is kind of weird to think about because it's been a while since I made those kind of videos too, but anyways, um, for those of you guys watching that actually know me from those videos, you know that I almost never say the same tips over and over again, that's just not the kind of person I am, and hopefully this video is going to be the same way. Um, I do feel obligated to start out by saying that I don't have all the answers on how to get successful on like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, right? but I have gotten pretty far for myself. I've helped a lot of my friends uh, do the same and I've also helped a lot of you guys too like watching this video also do the same so I do feel like I'm somewhat qualified to make these kind of videos and because of that I do feel like this is gonna be one of the best videos for people to I don't know like kind of like get started with YouTube or like get their like foot through the door or however you want to say it. Anyways if this video doesn't pump you guys out at all and you guys want to see more videos like it then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Also the comment question for today's video is what kind of content do you upload to your channel? So I'm gonna be checking out all the comments for probably a couple of months on this video so definitely drop the comment below and I'm also gonna be looking at some of you guys' channels so I don't know it's worth it if you guys want to do it but it's totally up to you guys but anyways let's finally get on with the video so if you get people clicking on your thumbnails and watching your videos for more than just a few minutes YouTube really likes that and is gonna promote you to other people and honestly that's like the best way to start out this video because that's gonna be the first thing I want to cover and I've said it millions and millions of times before but for some reason people just don't listen and you really do need to take advantage of all the tools that YouTube has for you to take advantage of if that makes any sense at all. YouTube really does give us a ton of tools that we can use to our benefit as creators on the website and we have things like thumbnails, tags, descriptions, and titles that so many people just don't put effort into and I'm not going to talk about this for too long because this is a tip that I've said so many times in the past but I really feel like I should just cover it for the basics of this video because this, I'm sure this is going to be the first time that a lot of you guys are watching me. So uh, yeah. Definitely work on your titles, tags, thumbnails, descriptions, all that good stuff because you can have like an amazing video but if the thumbnail and title aren't something that you enjoy looking at, no one is really going to look at that video or no one's going to click on that thumbnail or anything like that. And the same thing goes for like your tags and descriptions too. Like these are the two things that help you rank higher on the YouTube search and also get your videos recommended to more people. So if you're not working or on these kind of things or like putting effort into them and all you're doing is like trying to make good videos, then your videos are just not going to rank well and YouTube is going to notice that people aren't clicking on your videos so YouTube is just not going to promote your videos to other people in general it's just gonna stop doing that so I didn't really want to talk too much about that tip because it's very basic and it should be common knowledge by now but I know a lot of you guys are gonna be watching me for the first time in this video so I did want to make sure I covered that just at the beginning of the video but anyways the next thing I do want to talk about is watch time so for those of you guys who just don't know yet YouTube is a really responsive website in the way that it recommends videos to other people who probably just haven't seen your videos yet if that makes any sense um so basically to break that down a bit if you have people watching your videos for more than just a few seconds or more than just a few minutes and they're liking your videos and they're commenting on them and things like that then YouTube is going to actually do their best to try promoting your video more to people who haven't seen it yet and the same thing goes for if you have videos that just don't get enough views or not that but if you have videos that people just aren't watching long enough like if they only watch it for a few seconds or maybe one minute max and then they click out of it right away because they weren't interested in it YouTube will realize that and they're gonna stop pushing your video out to other people and they're gonna stop promoting it to other people who just haven't seen it yet YouTube will automatically know that people just aren't interested in your videos and it's gonna completely stop showing them to other people and because of that instead of showing your video to random people they're gonna be showing uh, like random users on YouTube someone else's video instead because it has better watch time and it gets more clicks because of its like thumbnails and like the video title and like how engaging the video is at the beginning of it if that makes sense so like I said before honestly just take advantage of all the tools that YouTube has to offer the analytics page on YouTube gives you a really detailed summary of all the videos that you've ever uploaded and lets you know how long the average person actually watches each video before they click off of it. So now take that information and try making your videos more enjoyable like in the beginning so that people want to stick around longer if that makes sense. And also work on your thumbnails because if people are clicking on your videos more often and you have good watch time, YouTube is going to promote your video. That's literally just how YouTube works. Like you can't deny that's actually the truth. Damn, I thought I heard a ghost or something, but anyway. Yo, what if something? What if something's actually in the webcam or something when I said that? Okay, I'm tweaking. But anyway, um, what I like to do is I like to go back after I'm done, like actually making a video, and watch it back and watch it all the way through and see if I get bored at all, like mainly around like the beginning or the middle. And if I do, then I'll go back and make changes so that I don't get bored during it. Because if I myself can't sit through my own video, there's no way that some random person on the internet would want to sit through it at all. If that makes sense. I that's one thing I say way too often. I say if that makes sense way too often. If that makes sense. Also, guys, if you guys are enjoying the video, please drop a comment below. I'm trying to be a little more relaxed in this video and like more laid back, and because that's just how I like to be. I feel like my other videos are just like way too formal, and I don't know. I'm not really too big of a fan of that. But anyways, 
Another thing you guys can do is collaborate with other creators similar to your size or honestly even bigger or smaller than you. It really doesn't matter. If you want to try collaborating with PewDiePie, go out of your way and try doing it, but I don't know. I think it's smart to do someone like around your size, maybe smaller or maybe a bit bigger because usually then like you can hold like a proper conversation with them and build like a true relationship if that makes sense. And the reason why I say that is honestly just because it's like a great way to get more people to find out who you are and it's also another great way to get more views on your videos and like I said before just get more people coming to your channel in general. And honestly I say this all the time to like my friends, other YouTubers who are trying to like start out on YouTube or like Twitch or whatever. Work with other creators because, look, you never know how far a single relationship can take you. Even if you won't like collaborate with that person, it doesn't hurt to try reaching out to people bigger than you, smaller than you, or even the same size as you and trying to build a relationship. And the reason why I say that, and I pro like I promise you one day you're gonna be able to leverage a relationship you made on the internet or on Twitter or something by knowing that person and get even further by like a collaboration or even just asking them to introduce you to someone else that you look up to and things like that. Like if you're looking for a place to meet new people like Twitter is probably the best place to go to. You're literally able to directly talk with all of your favorite like YouTubers, your favorite athletes, your favorite celebrities, literally anyone and there's a pretty good chance that they're actually gonna respond to you too. I even know some people who've been able to get jobs at some awesome companies just because they followed people who already worked there on Twitter. So I'm, I'm not kidding when I say social media is probably like the greatest tool that we have to our advantage right now and not enough people use it. So definitely get on your Twitter game if you haven't already. All right, I don't know why my legs been up the whole time, but I'm gonna put that back down. And another great place to go to is Discord. You can literally join my Discord server if you want. I should have it on the screen somewhere right now. Or you can join literally any other YouTuber's Discord server. Um, I'm in there all the time and it's a great place to meet like new people and make new friends and stuff like that too. But honestly, join your other favorite YouTuber's Discord servers too. See if you can like network with like their followers and stuff like that and make new friendships and things like that if that makes any sense at all. Again, I say, I say, why do I say that so much? I don't know. Anyways, moving on from that, we've got the next thing, and this is something I wish I started doing way earlier with my channel, but that's to set yourself long-term and short-term goals. And I know it sounds like such a basic tip, but it's really effective when you put it into your daily life, and if you're not putting a plan in place to make your dreams come true, whether it's like YouTube or getting a job or whatever, you're kind of wasting your time. So for me, I find that making long-term goals, like I want to hit 10,000 subscribers in this many months. I feel like making tr uh, goals like that is a really good thing to do. And honestly, like those are already the kind of goals that most people usually do at the beginning of every year. Like people say that they want to have 10,000 subscribers by the end of the new year. And of course, that's like a great goal to have, but you should be setting some short-term goals as well. This is something that almost every single successful person I've met, even myself, like literally almost anyone who's like doing something really serious with their life, um, they all agree upon it and it's like setting short-term goals is incredibly crucial and it usually motivates most people to work even harder to reach their goals whether it's like YouTube or like studying or getting a job or whatever. If I say something like I want to have this many likes per video by the end of this month, that's a really good short-term goal. If I say something like I want to have 100 new subscribers in the next two weeks, that's also a really good short-term goal. This way when you're getting closer to your short term goals, you'll be able to look at how you're doing and if you're falling behind, you can try doing something about it. You can try working harder before like that due date comes if that makes sense. Oh Why did I say it again? Anyways, so set goals and work towards them every single day because that way you're going to be more disciplined and it's going to prevent you from becoming too lazy. So let's say that you have a goal of getting to 10,000 subscribers in the next five months, right? That's a really good goal to do. Honestly, if you're watching this video, set it for yourself. Honestly, just go for it. So basically set that goal like 10,000 subscribers in the next five months, but then set a goal for every single month in those like coming five months, right? So in that first month, you want to hit like uh, let's say you want to hit like 500 subscribers and then the second month you want to hit a thousand new subscribers and then the th uh, third month, 3,000, fourth month, 5,000, right? Whatever. So set those like, set that big goal and then set those short-term goals and so like I said, set those monthly goals, right? And then honestly, go ahead and set some weekly goals too and like the smaller you get with your goals or like the more like broken down and like more in detail you get with those goals, the more disciplined you're going to be and the more harder you'll work to actually like reach those goals. So that way you're going to be doing something every single week which will set you up to hit that end goal of 10,000 subscribers by the time that that fifth month comes around. Now the last and probably the most important thing that I want to talk about for this video is creating and adding value for the people who actually watch your videos. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, Moz, what the heck does that even mean? And uh, so look, there's like a massive exchange when you're making YouTube videos and the exchange is that some random person on the internet takes time out of their day to watch the video that you made. That's the exchange, right? You made the video, but they're giving you their time out of their day to actually watch it. I talk with my hands way too often. 
Oh, that was so nerdy, but anyway, moving on from that. It doesn't really matter if you make videos about like your dogs. Speaking of which, I watch a ton of videos about dogs. Like dogs are probably like my favorite niche on YouTube to watch. Milpert Husky, I'm gonna link that channel in the in the description, guys. Check that channel out. My favorite husky channel. That so off topic, Moss. Okay. Anyways, it doesn't matter if you make tutorials or gaming videos, whatever. Basically, when you make a video, your viewer spends time out of their day to actually watch that video. So that's the exchange. What you want to make sure happens is that they're actually benefiting in one way or another from actually watching your videos. Because this way their time isn't actually going to waste from watching your videos. So like, let's say you make tutorials like me. You want to make sure that your viewer is actually learning something in the time that they spend watching your video. If you make gaming videos, then maybe show the viewer how to get better at the game. Let them know about new updates and things like that, right? If you make entertaining videos like Mr. Beast and Phase Rug, two of my favorite YouTubers, then make sure that the video is actually fun and enjoyable to watch for the person watching it. You don't want your viewers to actually waste time out of their day by watching your video, so actually make sure that they benefit in some way or another because then they'll actually want to come back in the future and watch more videos from you. And because of that, they're probably gonna end up hitting that subscribe button, which is gonna get you your first 100 subscribers or your first thousand, your first million, whatever. So always make sure that your viewer is getting something out of watching your video. It doesn't matter what they're getting, they should be benefiting in one way or another. It can be like a laugh, right? Like even if you laugh once while watching a video, you, they benefit in one way, right? Like they got they got some laughter out of it. Um, if it's more knowledge, perfect. If it's like entertainment, whatever. Just make sure that they aren't wasting their own time by watching whatever you make. Anyways guys, that is really it for today's tip video. If you guys did make it this far into the video, comment below what is your favorite cereal. I just want to see how many of you guys actually watched the video all the way down to this point. For me, it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you guys, if you guys are new to the channel. We're on our way to 200,000 subscribers. I think when I'm making this video, I have 157,000 or maybe 156. I have no idea. But anyways, if we could hit 200,000 by the end of the year, I'd really appreciate it a ton. Also though, if you guys do want, I can try to make more videos like this more often, but honestly, I just hate having to repeat myself. So um, I'll do my best to like, spice it up in the future like I did with this video and try getting more detailed with it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.